Do you have to get data from CSV files into Google Sheets? But the only way you know how is by opening each one and then copying and pasting the data individually. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a simple script that with one click, you can run a short, less than 30 line script that will automatically grab the data from all the CSV files in that folder. And I'll show you the options like deleting each file when it's completed and adding daily triggers. And just like that, it's done. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to create a script by going to extensions and app script. And while that's loading, I have the CSV files back in this folder ready to go. And so the first thing we're going to do is grab this folder ID. And so it's the alphanumeric after the forward slash and folders. So in our script project, we're just going to go ahead and give this a name. Let's call this script project. Maybe we'll call it CSV, import CSV. You can call this whatever you like. It doesn't overly matter. And then we're going to call this function import CSVs. And then we still have that folder ID in our clipboard. So I'm going to start off by declaring a variable using const. And we're going to call this folder ID equals two, and then paste that in. And so this folder is wherever we're going to be dropping our CSV files. All right, so in our function, we can go ahead and start getting some of our variables that we need. So for example, we need to get the folder and we're going to do that by let folder equals drive app. And so drive app is how you access folders in Google Drive. And then we're going to use the get folder by ID method and then use that folder ID that we just specified. Next, we're going to get the files out of that folder using let files and then folder dot get files method. And then what we're going to do is iterate through each file or go through each file in that folder. And then we're going to grab the data. And so I'm going to go ahead and make this data array here. And then we're going to, as we go through each file, we're going to add the data to this. And then at the end, we'll paste it into the Google Sheet. So what we're going to do is just use a while loop. And what this is going to do is as long as this is true, so has next. So in app script, when you use this get files method, it creates what's called an iterator. And then in that iterator, you can use has next. And it's basically checking, is there another file? And so if there's another file, it's going to keep going. So what we're going to do in this while is we're just going to go file by file. So we'll go say file equals files dot next. And so we've grabbed the files from the folder. And then while we're iterating through each file, we've grabbed one file. And so with this file, we want to grab the data and add it to our data array. So First of all, though, one thing that we can add, and you don't have to, if you know you're only going to do a CSV files in here, then you don't need to do this part. But what we're going to do is just add a little check here. So we're going to do a file type check and file get mime type. And this is basically getting the file type. And so what we'll say is if file type is equal to text.csv. And so you can add this anyway, even if you know there's CSVs, just in case someone drops an Excel or image or something like that, then it doesn't have an error here. And then now that we've confirmed it's a CSV file, let's get the data from that. And we'll do this CSV data. And we're going to use a utilities method called parse CSV. And then to put inside this, we need to turn it into a string. And so the way we'll do that is file.get blob. And blob is their fancy word for kind of like a chunk of data. And then we're going to get this data as a string. And so this will turn the CSV file into a string. And then from there, we can parse it as a CSV into array data, which allows us then to add it to here. So now what we're going to do is our CSVs have a header. So it has this. And in our Google Sheet, we already have this header. So what we're going to do is we're going to ignore that header. 
or get rid of it in the data. And the way we'll do that is CSV data. And then we're gonna use this JavaScript method called splice. And this basically in an array, we can slice the top row. Next thing I'm gonna do, and again, this is optional, but we have potentially some blanks. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna filter the data. And then I'm just gonna use this simple arrow notation. And I'm gonna say if that first one is not blank. So this is a simplified arrow notation for arrays. And basically I'm just gonna check if this is not blank. And so if you know there's a certain column that's always gonna have data, maybe customer ID, if it's customer ID, then you would just change this to one since you just basically subtract one to figure out the right index. So if your customer ID was always gonna be filled, then use one and so forth. If you need to go to 10, the 10th column, then use nine here and so forth. We'll go ahead and stick with zero for our purposes. And so at this point, we've removed the top row. We filter out any blanks based on data in the first column. And then what we're gonna do now is we're going to iterate through this and add them to our array. So we'll just do push like that. And so push is the method of adding stuff to an array. So now we've gone through the file, we've added all the data to our data array. And then here's another optional thing we can do. We can do file.set trashed. And again, if you do not want to remove them from this folder, then you don't need to add this, but often people using this kind of uh, script would want to do because they're maybe using a service to add or drop the CSVs in here maybe every day or something like that. And so then if you trash it using the script, then once it's processed it out of there and you don't have to worry about double adding the data. So just keep that in mind. If you're gonna be writing this script perhaps every day, then you may wanna make sure that you're either trashing it here or that it's getting overwritten by whatever else you're doing. So we've gotten all of our data and now we just need to add this data to the spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and access the spreadsheet. And so we're gonna do that using let ss equals spreadsheet app. And then let's go ahead and get the active spreadsheet when we're in. And then let's get the sheet equals get sheet by name and we'll get data, which is the tab here or sheet here. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to get range and then it's blank right now. So we could do two row two to start with because uh, this is row column number of rows and number of columns. But if you're gonna be adding this multiple times, we want to get the last row. So we just wanna make sure that we're not gonna overwrite data by accident and but not just the last row, we actually need to go down one because currently the last row would be this one. So we actually wanna go one down from the last row and that's where we wanna start. And then we'll start in column one and then it's the number of rows. And so we've added all our data to here. And so we can actually figure out how many rows by using this method, length. And then we can figure out how many columns there are using this. So. What this is doing is getting the first row of data, and then we're gonna use that same one length. So one thing to keep in mind with the way we've done this is if your CSVs have different number of columns, then this is gonna result in an error. Now there are ways to compensate for that, but it's gonna be a little beyond the scope of this video. And so I might do another video at some point that'll give you a little more clarity if you are running into that. But as long as you make sure that the CSV files have the same number of columns, then this will work just fine. Now, one thing to keep in mind is maybe you want it in a certain order. And so the last thing we're gonna do before we wrap this up is we're going to get range again. This time we will start at row two in column one, and then we're gonna get the last row and last column, actually last row minus one, we're starting we're starting down one. So we wanna back up one. Otherwise we'll be beyond the spreadsheet. And then let's get the last column. Okay, now let's do a sort. And again, this is optional. I'm just gonna show you, this is kind of the logic we wanna do here. 
And let's close this out with our parentheses. So this allows you to sort by a column. And so for example, in this case, we have this index. And so we probably want to sort by that one. And so we'll go ahead and make this column one. And then ascending would be true if we want to go from one to a thousand or whatever it is. So at this point, we've gotten all the scripting that we need to make this work. So we can run it from here, or if I demoed it using this script menu. And so to do that, we're going to have to add another function called on open. So let's go ahead and do that. And then in here, we're going to let UI equals spreadsheet app, and then we're going to get UI method on that. And then from there, we're just going to create a menu. And then so we can label this menu, we could say script menu, or we could say CSV script, whatever it is, add item. And then we can label this. And so this would be, let's say, get CSVs, for example. And then now we're going to reference the actual function. And so this needs to match this exactly. And then now we just need to add to UI, and that makes sure that the menu will actually display. So go ahead and save this, make sure it's saved. And then let's go ahead and refresh this. So that menu is still there for my demo, but now we have that there like this. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to authorize our script so we can actually run this. And then I'll wrap up by showing you how to add a trigger if you want to run this automatically every day. So let's go ahead and just run this on open here and this will allow us to do our permissions. And so because we're accessing drive app and stuff, it's gonna give us this warning because Google did not program this. But if you're doing this yourself, you will be safe to do. So go to advanced, go to import CSV, and it's telling you what it wants to access. So your Google Drive files, so it can access the CSVs and our spreadsheet so it can access that Google Sheet. So go ahead and click allow. And now it finished successfully. And so now we can go back over here and we can run this from here. So let's just verify we have our CSV files here. We have our MD tab here. And so let's go ahead and run this. So while that's running, I'm gonna go ahead and show you here how to add this trigger to run this every day. So we'll create a new trigger. You can do that from here or this blue button over here on the lower right. And so make sure you select that import CSVs function. If you call it something else, you can select that there. And then what we want to do is select a time-based trigger. And then we have different options. And so you might even have to do this every hour or something like this if you're doing this more frequently. Typically what's going to happen here is people are doing this on a daily basis. And you can select time of day. And so if you're using some other service, drop the CSV files, just make sure you coordinate this to happen after those get dropped in. And so if you have them dropping in at midnight to 1 a.m., then you can do it 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. And so Google gives these one-hour slots. So just make sure you do that afterwards. And then once you select that slot, then just click save. And then that trigger will be right there and that will run every day. And it'll scan this folder for CSV files. Looks like I have a little error here. Let's go see what's going on here. Let's go to our executions. Let's add a typo. X not defined at code 20. Code 20. Oh, I didn't do my arrow function. I just did equals. All right, let's go ahead and try this again real quick. All right, that time it ran successfully. Let's double check, make sure CSVs. Yep, we got all the CSVs out of there. We have all our data in here. I happen to know that there was a thousand rows in there. And so there we are. All our data is in here. Our script ran successfully. And that's all it is to put together a script that will import CSV files from a folder using a single click. Make sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day and see you around.